we are developing devices that are self-powered, meaning that for the very first time, the battery is included, and that battery is you. We are specifically developing a human-powered glucose biosensor. From here on, I will refer to it as the human-powered glucose sensor. This human-powered glucose sensor will be able to measure blood sugar levels continuously, unlike the manual finger prick test, and be completely invisible to the user. Since glucose is abundant in our blood, and we have access to the stored chemical energy, we are tapping into this as a fuel source. This microelectronic circuits will enable us to measure blood sugar levels continuously and transmit that data wirelessly to our smart device, whether it's our smartphones. Developing this human power glucose sensor is a team effort. There are two parts to the technology. We have the sensor chemistry and material, which involves chemists and chemical engineers, and then we have the microelectronic circuit that enables us to be able to acquire the data, process it, and transmit it to our smart devices, and that involves electrical and computer engineers. If we think about it on the grand spectrum, in the future, not only will we be able to, um, to power devices inside of our body, but also outside of our body because the human body has an infinite source of power. This research that we're doing is supported by the National Science Foundation. And this funding has enabled us to prove that this concept actually works. In general, this human power glucose sensor has far reaching implications for medical devices. Think about how much freedom we are given them. And to give them that freedom, that is what we are driven to do at the Bioelectronics Laboratory at UMBC. Thank you.